hello guys welcome back what 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 why do i look like this i literally have my robe on obviously over my sweater because it's cold outside it's cold outside but i don't want to put my coat on or get a blanket so i decided to wear my robe so leo is outside because it's sunny out he wants to be outside so that's what we're doing so i just want to talk a little bit i feel like i haven't posted in so long i literally have not posted in like two weeks i have just not been posting i don't have any ideas to post and i'm really upset because march is such a good month to start getting back on track and posting but like i i'm not doing anything fun right now like i'm just going to work and coming home it's not really fun but this week, I'm gonna push myself to do better because I want to do better. I need to do better. Wow, the highway is busy today. It's Friday. Hopefully I'll get this video up tonight. And right now, I'm just going to finish the end game today. I lit, like I'm literally at the end. I don't know if you can see. I have probably, let me look. Let's see how much I have left. Huh. I literally have 30 pages to go. So I'm gonna finish reading the end game. But what I want to say right now, what is going on? Why is my road such a busy road? I don't know. Anyway, what I want to say right now is if you are into the royal family, love hearing about their dirty little secrets, and want to get to know more about how disgusting King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla are, pick up this book. I love it. This is definitely for the fans of Meghan Marco and Prince Harry. So if you're not a fan of them, then don't read this. But I just recommend this to everyone because there was a lot of juicy details that I loved reading. So this is a five star book in my opinion. I'm gonna finish reading this book. Oh, and I have another update for you guys. Hi guys, I'm back yes i'm back it's been a while it has been a while since i've posted i've just you guys already know so what i was trying to say in this previous previous clip is that i am looking for a new job yes i'm finally looking for a new job because the job that i have currently is just way too stressful and i'm tired of getting hurt i'm tired of my car getting vandalized i'm tired of getting hurt i can't afford any more concussions like getting a concussion is a serious issue a very serious issue and i just don't want to put my health at risk anymore with all the stuff that i'm going through with my mental health getting concussions is not is not part of what i want to do and if i have to keep enduring getting concussions then i don't want to work there so i am in the process of looking for a new job specifically one that pays more and i'm just really excited for new beginnings usually i'm not excited for new beginnings but i just now's the time my time has come to an end with this place and i just need something better you know so that's what I was trying to say in this clip, but it was too windy. Second, we are finally getting our kitchen finished. We are about a month and a half away to getting our cabinets, and I'm so excited to finally have a kitchen. We've been, ha been without a kitchen for a whole year, just about, almost, and it's insane. It is truly insane. Um, as you know, remodeling your house is so expensive, so expensive. Um, which is why we've done it slowly and that's kind of the reason why I've, I've stopped filming because our house is a construction zone right now and I just really don't want to be filming that it's just weird um so I'm just so excited to finally get our kitchen the cabinets are coming in very soon and then the kitchen counters and then I can cook again I will be able to cook that's all I want to do in life right now is cook I'm tired of eating out tired of easy, eating frozen foods and stuff I just want to cook so bad my last thing that I wanted to update you guys is that I am going to Florida yay my favorite place on earth my favorite state the place I eventually want to live for the rest of my life we will be going to Florida we're going at the end of April for Jeep Beach and basically it's where it's a huge convention for Jeep lovers and it's like a three-day convention 
everybody brings their jeeps especially ones that are like so decked out you get to see everything there's a lot of activities going on there's like um dirt courses we can go on and it's gonna be so fun so i am so looking forward to going to that next month i cannot wait and i cannot wait to film it because this is our first time going to jeep beach i've wanted to go for like two years now and i'm so excited we're finally going so that is what i'm so excited for right now um i called my hair i did have a job interview yesterday and it went good i just don't think it's gonna work out but we're gonna keep high hopes and keep on trucking along so thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in my next video